Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint really glossy lips. Now, I already have lip tutorials on my channel for Autodesk Sketchbook, but my process has changed a little bit. So I decided to show you guys what I do now. And I'm just going to show you step by step what I'm doing in this tutorial. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to draw really glassy looking, realistic looking lips. Now here with this brush called Tattoo Inker, I am taking a black color and as you guys can see, I am creating these basic sketch lines for the lips. Now, if you guys have difficulty drawing these sketch lines for the lips um, like directly, you guys can take help from little circles like two little circles on the top and two big ones at the bottom and if you want me i can just create a quick short youtube video where i actually show you guys how to do that but if not then you can just go ahead and copy what i'm doing here in this tutorial and do that just do exactly that or draw these lines um, as similar to i am doing in this video now once you have that you want to pick up colorless brush do not pick up blending or smudging brush pick up colorless brush and if you hear some background noises please ex excuse me for that now uh if you haven't if you don't know the uh, difference between colorless brush and smudge brush i will link the video uh down in the description so that you guys can go ahead and watch why what is the difference between the smudge brush and the colorless brush and I want you, to, you guys to use colorless brush right here so that we can spread the color that we are blending and with that color we can actually create the shape of the lips so that's what I'm doing I went over those sketch lines I blended those and whatever color was still there on the bristles of the brush I used that to create a shape for the whole lip now it not only created a shape for the lip but also it added a little bit of shadow like a base layer for shadows and it actually really does help later down in the process in creating or deciding where to put more shadows in which uh, you should not put more shadows I hope that is making sense so if you're new to sketchbook I want you guys to play around with colorless brush and also a smudge brush and also watch the video where i actually tell you guys the difference between the both so before even before you get started with um, this painting then only you'll be able to understand why i'm doing what i'm doing here but if you know then you are good to go so yeah this is like the base layer for the lip painting now once you have that create a new layer now here we are gonna fill the lips up with a base color which is really really necessary and also you guys i have the skin color as my background so that i get, i can show you guys how to actually merge the lips with the skin if that makes any sense or make it look as if the lips are actually the part of the skin so yeah um, i took i took this color which looks pretty uh close which is pretty close to the skin color but obviously in pink shade and i'm using it as my base color and i'm using the same brush that i use to create the sketch lines now brushes here do not really matter you can use any brush you want um, as long as you are following the techniques but yeah colorless brush is something you want to use as much uh, when you are like painting lips and for a uh, portrait for that matter even the skin the different skin parts I love using colorless brush so now that you have this base layer ready what you want to do is you want to pick up again your colorless brush and go over lip lines go over the lip lines as they're looking pretty harsh right now as we just filled the whole lips up with this base color you want to kind of merge those with the skin color but not completely blend those out i hope this is making sense so that those harsh lines of that base color 
are no longer visible go with those lip lines uh, really light handed with that colorless brush and this is just going to give a really nice realistic natural looking effect to the lips trust me just do that okay just make sure you're not blending it out completely and we are doing it where we added the base color so once you are happy with that create a new layer now we are going to start adding shadows so i am taking this really really dark brown kind of color now um, the color of the shadows also depend on the color that you chose uh, for the base the base color that you chose so yeah so i am actually randomly adding it um, in the middle part of the lips that's how you want to do it do not worry about being perfect because we are again going to be blending this out with the colorless brush and we are going to be using the brush which is still kind of there on the bristles of the brush to actually create more shadows now once you have that that base layer of shadow um, just go ahead and take a color which is even darker than the color that you previously chose and now add it um, really close to that line that we have in the middle part of the lip and also make sure when you're blending it you're not spreading it all over the lip I hope this is making sense you guys I really hope that okay so as you guys can see the lips are kind of already looking good so that's how I go about it now you want to create another layer and I would suggest working layer by layer and I am picking up a color which is kind of pretty saturated because you want to um, add colors you know some colors which are really saturated some colors which are uh, desaturated and it actually you know makes the whole lip painting look more realistic so I added two colors one which was really this nice pink color saturated and then I actually chose a color which was a darker version of that pink color and I added that darker version in the middle part again you guys can just follow each and every exact same step that I'm taking in this tutorial to create this lip painting to see how it turns out all right and you guys can choose your own colors I want you guys to choose your own colors so that you guys can have real good understanding but if you want to use my colors just take screenshots and pick colors from there because again I don't know how to create palettes on sketchbook so yeah I blended that out as well and I kind of decreased the opacity because it was looking too pinkish and I went ahead and uh, to the layer where I created the base shadows and I actually changed the layer mode to multiply so that those shadows can look more and more darker and yeah that's what I basically do Where, wherever I add shadows I actually change the layer mode to multiply it really does help now what i'm gonna do is i am gonna be creating another layer uh, right at the bottom of every other layer that we have right here and we are gonna be taking a color which is a darker skin color to add shadows around the lips so as you guys can see i added this color pretty randomly around the lips so i added it at the bottom of the lips and around the mouth and um also on the cupid's bow not in the cupid's bow but above the cupid's bow and again with the colorless brush i am gonna go ahead and blend those out so they're looking pretty good and i kind of went ahead and decreased the opacity as well because it was looking too much now take a lighter skin color and add it again on the cupid's bow and I actually tried adding it um, at the bottom of the lips but it didn't look good so I went ahead and erased it so you guys just want to add this on the cupid's bow and around the mouth and just go ahead and blend it out and it will look so good now I'm gonna go ahead and create another layer and I hear I'm taking up a darker pink kind of color and I'm adding this color right in the middle of those lips and also at the bottom as you guys can see in this video 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up color this brush again just gonna blend this out so as I said just make sure you're adding different colors Co some colors uh, which are really saturated and some colors which are quite desaturated some of them are darker some of them are lighter okay like that that's how you paint lips so yeah that's what I'm doing right here and they're looking pretty good and the next thing I did was I picked up smudge brush this time and I because I wanted to blend these harsh lines that we have in the middle part of the lips and you can skip this step if you want to you don't really necessarily have to do this but I just did it because it was just looking too much for me and I didn't want to spread the color over the lips so that is the reason why I used smudge brush now here I am adding highlights and I actually played around with highlights because I wasn't sure where I should add highlights to make them look glossy so I was playing around with my highlights you can do the same you don't have to copy what I'm doing right here you can just go ahead and play with the highlights to see what looks the best I'm actually gonna fast forward this a little bit so what I did is I picked up airbrush and white color and here what I did was I actually pretty I actually went ahead and added these really light looking highlights first to see how they are looking and to do that make sure you're not putting much pressure onto the screen so that's our base layer and then what I do is I decrease the size of the brush and I add highlights over these base ones but this time around they are going to be much more pigmented as compared to the previous one and to do that I put more pressure onto the screen so I actually play around with the pressure that I'm putting onto the screen to create this and if you struggle with that you can always play around with the opacity of the brush that is also quite helpful so that's what I did and that's how I added highlights and you can go ahead and add highlights in the same areas that I've added here right here in the video so yeah that's it and that's how you actually paint really nice realistic looking natural looking lips on sketchbook I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do create these out of my tutorial then tag me on instagram i would love to see that other than that i will see you guys in the next video